I wanted to bring a unique perspective on this idea of what should you eat? Should you be eating a lot of food if you're trying to build muscle with my own personal history and about how I cut my caloric intake in half when I first started building muscle? Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is address this idea of a caloric surplus. The very word surplus is the one I'm trying to debunk here. Not should you eat more, but do you need to eat in a surplus? And the definition of a surplus is literally eating things you don't need to eat. A uh, surplus, an amount of something left over when requirements have been met. An excess of production or supply over demand. So the very definition of a surplus is consuming food you don't need to eat. You have no purpose for it, including for muscle growth. In caloric surplus, proteins, doesn't matter what the surplus is, it's not necessary. It's not necessary by definition. And the reason why I want to debunk this is because I want to save folks out there from doing the stupid mistake that I made where you think I've got to eat a lot and I've got to put on body fat to build muscle. That's not at all necessary in any way. Putting on fat that you later got to burn off, all you're doing is creating more work for yourself. It is completely unnecessary. So let's really tackle the real issue. Do you need to eat more? Should you eat more? Well, unfortunately, that's not my job to know. I am in no position whatsoever to answer that for you. As my nutrition professors hammered into us from day one, they're like, you have no business whatsoever giving someone nutritional advice unless you know them, unless you know what their daily lifestyle is like, unless you know their workout is like, unless you know what their lifestyle is like, unless you know what their current uh, dietary lifestyles are like. Otherwise, you are just blindly guessing about what they should do. Literally, just roll dice, throw a dart while blindfolded. It's the same thing. For me to say, yes, you should eat more, no, you shouldn't, I'm just pulling answers out of thin air. I have no basis whatsoever to base my answers on. However, you do, because you're the one who knows all that stuff. You know what your workouts are like, you know what your diet is like, you know what your lifestyle is like. Don't guess, don't assume, no. And the best way to know is simple trial and error. Should you eat more? Should you eat not? I don't know. Now, when I first started working out, I cut my caloric intake in half and still built muscle. And the reason was because when I first started working out, that was my first job at a uh, fitness equipment supply store. And that was the first time I had access to weights and strength training. I didn't know the body weight thing yet. But during college, I was a bike racer. I was literally doing the equivalent of a two to three hour spin class every single day. I was racing my mountain bike four to six hours every weekend. My caloric needs were sky high and I was eating like 5,000 calories a day. Now when I got that job, I wasn't doing that stuff anymore. I was sitting at a desk and working, in a, sitting in a truck doing deliveries. So I didn't need nearly as much and I, I was smart. I listened to my body so I didn't gain any body fat. My, Caloric needs went down, but so did my intake. But the thing that made me build the muscle was for the first time in my life, I was applying regular, consistent, progressive tension to my muscles. I was working out with dumbbells. That's what caused my muscles to grow. And seeing as I was in my mid-20s and hadn't done anything like that before, my muscles were like fertile ground for any kind of growth. Now, an interesting thing though, a few years later, I actually did join an actual gym and I got my mind all on that idea of like muscle confusion and all that nonsense. And my workouts went from half an hour with the dumbbells to an hour and a half to two hours, you know, a few mornings a week at the gym. And my caloric needs skyrocketed, but it wasn't because of building muscle, it's just because I was working out a lot more. I was working out to sustain the workouts that I was doing. However, I wasn't building any muscle during that time. Why? Because that whole muscle confusion thing. I wasn't applying any progression whatsoever. I just figured if I did random stuff and worked really hard, then it would benefit me. But it didn't. Because when I was doing the dumbbell thing, I was kind of in a corner. I'm like, well, you, every time I came in, I'm like, I'm gonna try a few more reps, try more weight, whatever it was. I was forced to make progression. But I was so distracted in the gym, like, oh, that's a different machine. I haven't used that before. And I just throw on whatever for weight. I never kept a log, never did anything. So I was eating more to do the workout, but I wasn't building any muscle. So a couple lessons here to wrap up real quick. Number one, you don't need a surplus. I mean, by definition of what a surplus is. 
Um, number two, it's the stimulation of the muscle that's gonna trigger a muscle growth. Number three, I have no business or nobody on YouTube has any business telling you what you should or how much you should be eating. They're guessing. You're in a better position to make those assumptions. And number four or five, whatever, pay, uh, just figure it out for yourself. If you feel like you should be eating more, then eat more. See what happens. And if uh, you start gaining body fat, surplus. You don't need it. And if you feel good, you feel stronger, rock on. But let, listen to your body. I don't know, and no general thing you read in a book or whatever is ever gonna know for you. This is something you're gonna figure out for yourself. So I hope that helps you. Let me know your questions below. Be fit, live free.